Hello everyone, let me turn on the light so you can see me a bit better, that's better. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I just got back from a day at work, it's a Thursday, and I've had one of those good days. I've had one of those days where I've come home, I'm feeling on top of the world. Yesterday was completely different, I felt horrible, I hated my life, uh, but today I feel great. So I got home and I was like, I don't want to sit at home, I want to go out and do something. My back is aching. I had a backache yesterday. That's why I had a horrible day. So I don't want to go to the gym just yet. I want to wait for it to heal a little bit. But I do want to go biking randomly. That's what I want to do today. I want to just get on a bike and just ride into the distance and see where it takes me. Uh, in Nantong, not sure it'll take me too far, but there are some nice naturey bits around. So I thought I'd take you guys with me, see what comes of this. And that's basically it. Funny story, I just have to tell you one thing. I have these shoes. Please don't tell me you like them. I bought these for my travels across China this summer. I needed some sandals. This is what I could find. I needed some like hiking sandals so I could have them open toe. I hate them. I don't like them, guys. They are, they remind me of, I'm sorry, don't call me racist, but they remind me of you know, there's like, there's like German travelers that you see, like maybe Europeans will understand, who are like long legged with shorts and, you know, very tall. That's what I feel like when I wear these. I hate them, but I'm going to wear them today. I put on socks and I was like, I want my toes to breathe. I don't want to have to wear closed toe shoes. So I'm going to wear these and just bear the wrath of looking absolutely nerdy in them all right guys i'm gonna head off and let you know if anything interesting happens bye just look at these horrific things <laughs> i hate them okay so i just got on my bike and i'm thinking of heading to wolf mountain even though it's getting dark so i'll see how it goes i'm not gonna film on my bike because I don't think that's a safe idea to do, especially because I once got in a car accident when I was using my phone and that was one lesson enough to learn. But anyway, that's for another story and that's for another vlog. So I'll stop off every now and again and I'll chat to you guys. Let's see where this journey takes me. Bye. Just wanted to stop off to show you just how beautiful the sky looks right now. It's a beautiful time for the day to be out. And a beautiful season to be out. The weather is just perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. Nantong for you. And a car is about to crash. Nantong for you. Pink sky, mental. The moon. Beautiful skies tonight. Obviously had to stop and take a video of this stunning sky and greenery. Heading towards that mountain, Wolf Mountain. Might be too dark to see it by the time I get there, but let's see. I can, okay, I can film now while I'm riding because I'm on in like a pedestrian area. But I saw this little bridge and I just couldn't help but explore it. I was like, no, George, no. Am I allowed bikes there? Yeah, so it doesn't say no bikes. So anyways, yeah, look. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go over the bridge. Oh, bike, bike, bike. Check out that river. <gasps> so cool. So still. Wow, look at that view. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And I think this is, oh my gosh, whoa, whoa. it's going downhill. This is still a route, I think, to Wolf Mountain, just the more scenic one. Um, 
In moments like this, I feel so blessed to be an international person, just because this is where I live, yet I still get to be a tourist in the place that I live. Albeit, I know that other people get that, even in their hometown, but having that foreign feeling, seeing people crowded around you on their motorcycles who look nothing like you, there's something really exhilarating about it and I don't, I don't know if I could ever leave that behind. And uh, I, I feel like I'm in the place I need to be in at the moment in Nantong. Ask me yesterday, I would have said a completely different thing. I would have been like, I hate my life. Oh, doggy, so cute. And, um, but just, it's just such a perfect city. It's green. It's not far from Shanghai. It's not too small. It's not too old school. Oh, look, there's Wolf Mountain. The Wolf Mountain, dum dum dum. And it's just home, even for a moment in time. Oh, look, another beautiful river. Ah, oh, stunning. Could there have been a more beautiful sky? That bell really just ruined it. Oh my gosh. Stop it, bell. Okay, I'm gonna carry on riding. See you soon. There it is, guys. There is the Wolf Mountain. We've gotten quite close to it. Surrounded by these very new looking Chinese style architecture buildings. Should we go closer? Let's investigate closer. This is the very first time I've ever caught sighting of a skyline in Nantong. That is a pretty badass skyline, guys. I mean, just to sell the city a bit more. Beautiful. Like, if that's not a city, what is? I love Nantong. I really do. Look, so we've come to this little strip. It seems like a bit of a touristy strip. It's even, it's kind of even got this kind of like small town America feel to it in this area. Sorry, I think got in the way. Yeah, I'll show you a bit more as we go down that road. Uh, this is the road towards Wolf Mountain. Seems like there's a little barbers there. Very local feeling. So my battery is dead, or not dead, because I'm talking to my phone. My battery's dying and I've just found a charging bank in one of these shops. Now you would usually think you'd find these charging banks in malls or hospitals or places that are well developed. No, you find these charging boxes with the banks in them in little corner shops, much like I'll show you. So I'm really glad to have found it. Uh, you can pick one up and then there'll be one somewhere else in the city like that you can drop off somewhere else. Usually, I hope so. Okay, I'll show you. And this is it. What is this place actually? I'm actually wondering what is it like? If you could put your finger on it, please let me know in the comments. She doesn't mind them filming. Look, all of these packages, drinks. Okay. <laughs> so we're at Wolf Mountain and yes, I'm aware that we can't see it. <laughs> it's too dark. Um, but what I'm more intrigued by is this building to the right. There seems to be, it seems to be like a boarding place or something. There's like children running around. Is it a school? It might be a school. Are they at school this late? Is it true that what they say about the Chinese working this hard? So yeah, something interesting going on over there. But I made it to the mountain, yay! I guess I'll make my way back now. I'm not quite sure what else I'll find, but I'll let you know if I find anything else. Lots of red always, communism, communist party. Got red there as well. 
Okay, bye. So I've just come down this wonderful road and mind you, it's rush hour, yet this road is quiet. This road reminds me of a back street in Cyprus, although these roads are a little bit more flat and tidy. I could imagine being in a little back street of Cyprus with houses and small practices, medical practices and just local but modern. This is what that feels like. It's really nice to discover like something like this in Nantong, considering I never have before. I just saw this amazing looking shop with like easels and clay pots and I wanted to go inside because it looked like people were painting. So I saw maybe the owners or people who work there outside and I asked them, can I go inside, huh? Can I go inside? No, no, no. Shanku, whatever that means, Shanku. And then the woman kind of looked at, like just looked at my, like didn't even look at my face and we, um, she carried on, which kind of hurt my feelings because I felt a sense of hostility. But you have to understand Communication is different here. And so you have to take it on the chin, not get upset and move along. Because there are way more friendly ones than there are unfriendly ones. And maybe they weren't even being unfriendly. Maybe they were just saying something in a way that was rooted in fear. Westerner, don't come across me often. Or just saying it the way they say it. And it wasn't intended to be rude. So that's how I choose to view it. Okay, let's carry on. So I seem to have come across this beautiful little, it seems like a restaurant. You've got some fountains there. And I think I'm gonna eat here. I can smell food, why not? I'm gonna stop and eat here. I just need to find somewhere to put my bike. Walking through the entrance. I think I've got to hop onto these things to actually get there. It's pretty nice. just brought me in to have a look at the menu which is on show this is what they have to offer you tell me if you were willing to eat here call me non-adventurous but I'm not sure I can do it guys I don't know if I can do it. Oof, that's a strong smell. Check over this side. Care for that, anybody? Ah, uh, I really thought it was my destiny to eat here, guys. I don't think I can do it. I think the only thing I'd probably eat is that so I've just slipped away without the nice lady noticing because <laughs> she brought me to look at the food on offer. Guys, I'm adventurous, but I just couldn't eat it. It wasn't, look, it's not that it's uh, unusual looking food. It's that it didn't look fresh. The fish did not look fresh. It looked like it'd been sitting there for a long time. The shrimp, it was all like slimy and just like sitting in this juice. I just can't do it, guys. I guess I, I, I'm just a foreigner at heart, at the core. It's not gonna happen. So I guess I'm gonna continue on. It's only, it's not even seven, it's like almost seven. It's still early days, we can find where we're gonna eat. All right, bye-bye. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm being extremely rude here because I can't tell if this is a restaurant or a friend's barbecue. I'm not sure. It seems like it's part of a restaurant, but doesn't that just look like a chilled barbecue amongst friends? 
Should I just be bold and find out? I don't know, guys. What is this? Does anybody know? I, I might go closer. Okay, I was right. That was a private party. <laughs> I went into the building to ask, like, are you serving food? And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. So I'm pretty sure that was not open for all. So I'm glad I didn't go closer. Like, oh, hello, like one, one barbecue stick, like uh, uh, one beef, beef. Okay, one beef, one chicken. Yes, thank you. Just to, you know, dig in, take it. Like how much, how much? <laughs> that would have been really awkward. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm leaving this place now. I'm, I'm literally gonna go and just find somewhere normal to eat. Probably something you couldn't care less about, but this is probably the first gas station I've come across in Nantong unless i've been very unobservant but pretty cool coming back into the very populated area of nantong feels much more like a city once you're back here yeah home sweet home you could probably consider this the center of nantong this is the central area where well it's right next to where i live where all the nice food areas are and yeah it's only a small area but it's really nice i'm gonna go to a place called hot monster probably and have a burger they do really nice burgers there and then probably end my vlog so i'll show you hot monster and then love you and leave you one thing i find really refreshing about the chinese is that they do not sweat the small stuff when i'm driving around on my bike and I happen to like coincide or you know with with another biker or I'm about to like cut them or something you'll see that their reaction is just so unassuming it's like oh, oh well carry on and <laughs> it's funny because my natural British side comes out I'm like oh how rude gosh just look where you're going but then you realize like once you get into the flow of how everyone else is don't sweat the small stuff it happens and then you move on and everyone just flows and flows and you know it does still irritate me that they don't look where they're going when they're on their bikes and in their cars but everyone seems to work that way and there was just a moment where i like you know i was riding my bike and there was an old lady waiting with her son and i forgot to like stop and wait for her i just carried on going and you know i expected her to go oh how rude like they would in the uk but she just was like mm, just carried on and it's like yeah stress-free life don't sweat the small uh, stuff i best show you this area there's a lot of nice western food here like moha that's like a mexican joint turns into kind of like a bar at night where people can dance you got bco there which does like really all sorts of things like steaks and salads and things like that and then hot monster where i'm going and then you've got this place that seems to be opening soon called Thai Food Show, which I'm really happy about because it means there's another cuisine. They have a Thai place in the mall that I used to love. The quality of their food went down. So I'm, I was a bit like, meh. But now, is this a menu? No, but they're hiring. Well, if push comes to shove, maybe I'll become a Thai waiter. But anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yay, gonna try Thai Food Show and probably make a video about it but I'm heading to Hot Monster. Hot Monster is really nice. Oh, they have an outdoor sitting area now. Do I feel like sitting outside? Hmm, I don't know, not really. Um, so this is the kind of food they serve, burgers, all that. And then what's really cool about this place is it's kind of got like this old 50s feel diner. It's like a diner. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna get something to eat. And this is where my vlog ends, guys. Uh, I actually ended up getting on a phone call with my friend while I was eating. So I kind of forgot to finish filming. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog and coming on this very random journey with me. And I will see you for the next one. Bye.